During the past decade, we have all witnessed an enormous global surge in the making of fly fishing films. Films that have energized our sport and exposed us to some of the most beautiful fishing destinations on Earth. As a part of this year's Orvis Rendezvous in Missoula, Montana, we are celebrating the art of fly fishing filmmaking. We hope you'll join us for a truly inspired film festival kicked off by a keynote address from an individual widely recognized as the greatest fly fishing filmmaker in the industry today. So tell me when we're rolling. So just kick it out when we're rolling, I'll get going. So yeah, just, we're rolling. okay, all right. Just, you don't have to shout it. I just, okay, cause that. Hi, I'm Hank Patterson, world renowned fly fishing expert and guide and world renowned fly fishing filmmaker, award winning filmmaker and director for films about fly fishing. Get a tight shot of that. Award winning. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There are three things that you need in order to make a fantastic fly fishing film. You need a host, like a really well spoken host who's not ugly. Uh, you need a camera. Um, you need a host, you need a camera. You need a microphone, all right? So you're going to need some duct tape. You're going to need a tripod. You're going to need a guy to run the, you know, cameras. You're going to need two guys running cameras. Key grip. You need a couple of key grips. You need at least two of those. Producers, right? You need a best boy. Everybody's got to have a best boy. Snacks. You're going to need snacks because you go out on a long day shooting and it, it'll wear you down. I mean, surprisingly, it'll wear you down and your blood sugar is going to drop and it's like, oh, baby, you better have some snacks around. Sometimes somebody will bring like bananas and some fruit and stuff. Nobody's going to eat that crap. You need some M&Ms and Twinkies and stuff like that because all that healthy crap that goes in the garbage, which, which is good for the environment. There's a lot of different dietary needs on a shoot, right? That you got to be aware of because, you know, you're going to have a shoot. You're going to bring nothing but beef jerky, like five, six pounds of beef jerky, right? And I've done it. And then all of a sudden it's like, you know, the sound guy's like, oh man, I'm a vegetarian. I can't eat, you know, well, you're fired. You need lights in case it's dark. Riders, you need really good riders because you don't want to just get up there and start rambling on and on about nothing. You have no idea what you're going to say. And all of a sudden you're flubbing up words and whatever. So you got to have somebody like behind the scenes that, and I write my own stuff and a rehearsal space. Cause again, you don't want to just get up there, you know, cold, like you've, oh man, I don't even know what I'm going to do. And then you just get up there and cause you just start sounding like an idiot. You get your script and, and, and you rehearse it out and so that you don't, you know, so you know where you're going with, with the whole thing. Cause there's gotta be a story arc. If you're doing a shoot, like a drift boat shoot, and you've got one boat, you're going to need a second boat. And people are, oh, you know, why do we need two boats? We only got one boat. Where else are you going to keep the snacks? I'll tell you what else you're going to need. You're going to need thick skin, like really thick skin. Because here, come, feel that. Feel that skin, how thick that is right in there. Because there's no, like, feel it right here. Just feel that. Feel how thick. Because there's no muscle in there. That's just skin and bone, right? And that's just, like, thick skin. Because here come the critics. But I'll tell you the number one thing you need. You need a, a sidekick like this. You need a client. Right? Guy like Reese. This right here, this is the backbone of the operation. This is the glue that holds it all together. Because when you have a guy like that, you can have great dialogue. Right? You got a good writer, you go down, you write all this dialogue out, and it's like, oh, what are the different things we're going to talk about while we're out on the river, you know? Because any good video needs really good dialogue. Right, Reese? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, in summary, those are the three things that you're going to need in order to make a great fly fishing film. Now, we're going to have tips and information like this and a whole lot more during our presentation at this year's Orvis Rendezvous. So join us on the 18th or 19th or 20th or whatever it is. I think it's the 19th, like it's Friday night sort of a deal. They're in Missoula, Montana for the Orvis Rendezvous. And then we'll cut. You need great music. I didn't even mention that.